you know, folks, uh, sometimes it's hard to be inspired living in a world that constantly bombards us with stories of heartbreak and tragedy. Uh, but once in a while, there's a story that comes along that kind of moves us and completely restores our faith in humanity. Take a look at this. Back in 1957, newlyweds Reverend Gilbert Caldwell and his wife Grace drove eight hours to America's premier honeymoon hideaway, the Mount Airy Lodge, a popular star-studded resort for more than 100 years. In its heyday, packed 550 hotel rooms and saw big-name entertainers, including Bob Hope, Tony Bennett, and the Supremes. But when the couple arrived, the hotel turned them away because of the color of their skin. The experience steered Gilbert into civil rights activism, and he became a voice for human rights and racial equality, walking side by side with civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr. Now, since their retirement, Gilbert and Grace speak about the civil rights movement at schools and share their honeymoon story. During one speaking engagement last year at Bear Tavern Elementary in New Jersey, the Caldwell story had a profound impact on one fifth grade class. At the end of the story, I was like, that's just terrible. It was really heartbreaking. Just because it's just so wrong. I feel like this is the worst thing that someone could do to someone. So the students decided to take a stand. Each fifth grader wrote a letter to Mount Airy Resort and Casino. One letter said, the Caldwells made me think about not only standing up for myself, but standing up for others and fixing mistakes that were made in the world. And the students requested an all-expense-paid honeymoon do-over for the Caldwells. The old Mount Airy Lodge was torn down years ago, but the new owner of the resort was so impressed with the students' letters that they happily obliged and finally made a wrong right. Sixty years later, the Caldwells had their second honeymoon. Please welcome Mr. Gilbert and Miss Grace. <laughs> Mr. Gilbert and Miss Grace, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you. Thank, thank y'all for coming. Let me ask you, when you arrived at the hotel and you were turned away, what, do, what did they tell you? Uh, first of all, they hemmed and hawed and suggested that I didn't have a reservation, but I had a copy. And then they said, well, well, we, we, we might admit you, but, admit you but, but our guests would not be happy. We debated a bit, uh, and then, of course, we left. And you can imagine the impact that had on Grace and myself. But being a, a Methodist minister, or at least in training for a Methodist ministry, I, I looked for a Methodist preacher, thinking that if I went to his place, he would come back and confront the people who turned us away. But rather, he found a, a bear lodge uh, for hunters a very small place, and that was where we spent our first night. Miss Grace, what did you think of all this? Well, uh, obviously, I was devastated. The, where we went, people were walking around with, with rifles, you know, because they were waiting to go hunting. And we were there, and it was scary. Yes, yes. Yeah. You know, especially in the times we live in, you know, all that civil rights has tried to overcome. Mm -hmm. And then of recent years to see so much being done to counter that, you know. Yeah, you, no. you know, you just can't hear uh, a person say, like for example, the thing that happened in Charlottesville where the, yeah. you got people on, but you can't say that there's good people on both sides. Yeah. So you can't hate a person cause he's Jewish, cause he's black, cause he's gay. Yes, yes. And then turn around and say, but you're a good person, though. <laughs> no, you, you can't be a good person <laughs> and hate other people simply because of who they are. Exactly, exactly. You can't I, do I that. Say yes, to yes, yes. And yes, in this yes, time... Yeah, yeah. And look, uh, we've got the fifth grade class uh, who took a stand for the Carwells live via Skype. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, we got them, baby! I think it's absolutely phenomenal uh, what you young people did. Uh, I don't know if you understand this, but you, you really made a, a, a super stance here. You put a mark in America that need to be shown up. You know, for you all to write these letters, that's just, that's crazy good. I gotta tell you that. Yeah. That's just crazy good. Yeah. 
kids, have you all heard of the Great Wolf Lodge? Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, they want to thank you all for doing such a good deed for the Codwells. That's why we're sending your entire class on a two-night stay to their family resort in the Pocono Mountains. That's right. The whole class is going. Everybody. We're going to do something for you, man. Great Wolf Lodge is a family resort with a massive heated indoor water park featuring slides, rides, activity pools, and splash areas for every age. Beyond the water park, family fun awaits with exciting attractions like Magic Quest, 10 Paw Bowling, and of course, meetups with Wiley the Wolf and his Northwoods friends. So we want to say thank you to a great group of young people, the Bad Tavern Elementary, and a special thanks to Mr. Gilbert and Miss Grace for sharing their story with us. What a great story. We'll be back, everybody. Hey, if you like that video, there's more where that came from. Don't forget to subscribe and scroll down and hit that little bell while you're at it, too, to get notified every new video.